Hello and welcome back to a new vlog, to a new week and I am starting the week with very exciting package that I literally just received a few seconds ago. This will hopefully change the experience not only for me but also for you because I just ordered a new camera and I thought we should do the unboxing together because this will be the last time that you have bad audio or shaky quality and yeah I researched quite a bit and I actually wasn't really on the lookout for a new camera but uh, this one was literally everything that I've wanted to have and like I said I hope that this will also improve the viewing uh, experience for you so here it is this is the Osmo Pocket 3 creator combo this is really my like dream dream camera i would say let's switch to the new view and uh, let's see if there is a difference i mean now i'm filming on my iphone so for sure there will be a difference uh, but let's try the new camera out okay so now we are at the different camera and it is so cool uh, xava is coming Let's see, Xava is home. Say hello to the vlog on the tiny camera. Achtung, hello. <laughs> and uh, actually it's a perfect opportunity to try out the filming because we are going to set up finally the balcony and Xava is going to build up. We still have a few hours. Also, you can have this cool feature I will put you on the tripod. So now no matter where I go and if I'm walking around, <laughs> this thing is just following me around. Okay, I know you're getting dizzy um, and it's not going to be useful for stand-up videos like these, but it is useful for filming in the street, in the city, and you can choose who the camera follows so that's really cool but let me just turn that off now and i guess the last check would be how it sounds like with the microphone so supposedly if you just turn the mic on ah yeah the microphone is now connected can you hear any difference in my audio and of course now when I'm at home there might be not so much difference but let's go out on the balcony there's quite a lot of traffic and I wonder if uh, my voice sounds any clearer now and I have this uh, wind shield you can also take it off um, yeah as you can see I'm really really happy with the camera and let me clip it on I feel like a real professional uh, YouTuber now um, but I guess you will see all the features and like I said I hopefully your vlog experience is getting better now with this camera but now let's get to actual vlogging and see what Xava is up to so here is Xava with all of his screws you're choosing the one that fits best yeah there's none I thought you said you have everything. Yeah, for here, yes. <coughs> for at home, yes. And let me show you. We are going to hang up these thingies. I showed you them in the vlog some weeks ago. And uh, yeah, we're still on the lookout for some pillows. Uh, probably Amazon will be our solution. And we are probably going to hang them somewhere in the corner up here because uh, that's just the best solution for our balcony but like i said we will still figure some things out so i will show you that a little bit later on Thank you. 
So here we have one ready chair. We added a white rope to make it lower because of course you saw that it was way too high. And uh, yeah, how does it feel like? Good. That's not the end result here. I'm going to put here a, a bar with the wood and then it goes straight up and then together. So there's not so much of these like ropes. Yeah, like yeah. not so tight here. Right? I want to be more free here. Yeah, but that it is already like small details that we will see later. But now we can finally enjoy the beautiful weather outside. Now you just have to do one more. Yeah, I'll give it to me. We just spent 30 minutes watching how to do different knots <laughs> and learning the knots. And here is how it looks like from the inside, by the way. I think it's also quite cute. There's still a lot of balcony improvements to be done. I want to hide like this ugly thing here. There's plants to be planted, but we're doing first steps. It's still spring. It's not summertime yet, so that's okay. Things first. Exactly. First things first. But uh, I guess for today I will be done with filming. I have to charge the camera. Let me know down in the comments what do you think. Do you see the improvement between the cameras? Because it's so much more fun to film already. <laughs> I think uh, you will just have more videos just because I'm filming so much. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today. We're gonna enjoy the last few hours. No, not few hours actually. The sun is already setting. We will enjoy the last few minutes on the balcony and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, good morning. Actually, it is not morning, but uh, hello, it is Tuesday and I just did all of my makeup because I am going to be using my free moment to film a try-on video because I got yesterday a delivery worth uh, 600 euros more or less from other stories and since I am, you know, committed to doing also these like fashion hauls, fashion videos, I'm trying to pre-film and film as many as possible because they are kind of evergreen and I can always post them and uh, yeah like I said I have a free um, moment right now I'm working from home today and it's already you know late afternoon and uh, yeah I want to still use the daylight as long as it's bright but first to be able to actually do anything to film the video because this is my new like setup I have to take all of this away and I really have to set it up um, so I thought I will show you a little bit behind the scenes of how I actually do it and then I will also have to eventually change um, so yeah why don't we set the scene together and then uh, yeah you will have to stay tuned for whenever this video comes up if you are coming from this vlog and then watching the other one let me know because that's how I know that you are the OG watcher uh, but yeah, enough of blabbering. I think let's just get started because there's a lot of work to be done. All right, so first things first, we have to remove this table. I hate doing this, but it's the only way my video actually looks nice. the looks that I have this is my outfit number one this jumpsuit with the skirt then the second outfit a dress another dress and the jumpsuit and as I told you it's quite colorful now I just have to figure out how to style these with but I think I will do that in the process of filming and here is the chaotic behind the scenes all the stuff are out the chairs are hidden, but luckily you don't see that in the video. So yeah, I'm uh, gonna actually now start the filming. I just have to change for to another outfit for the intro. See you then. Okay, so I'm actually done filming and I can just give you a quick, um, how to say, spoiler and say that I loved 
all five outfits they were so so nice i'm wearing the last one now i haven't changed out of it yet unfortunately i will send all of them back because um i'm really you know not on the lookout for any new outfits and usually for these types of hauls i order them um, and then send them back because i don't want my wardrobe to be you know overfilled with things that i don't actually wear uh, but this time I'm going to be sending it back with a very heavy heart because like I said, I loved all of these outfits um, Make sure to check out the video and uh, yeah, now I'm going to Finish up last of my cleaning. Actually, I have to clean all of this mess up. Okay, so uh, Xava is back home and we actually went shortly uh, to the supermarket because now he's going to do the changes to the um, our chairs he has here some wood pieces that he will adjust it to and yeah you have a little bit of work to do I will show you the end result probably tomorrow since it's getting dark and uh, yeah you will not see much on the balcony and I am actually gonna go on my first run of the year I've decided that I want to start running again and uh, kind of challenge myself in a little bit and uh, tra train my cardiovascular health so this was it for today quite a productive day i cleaned the apartment i worked i filmed you know all very successful so uh, tomorrow is actually a day off it is first of may uh, which is always a nice uh, thing and uh, we're actually gonna see how they are putting up the may tree my baum it is actually happening in our small city in our small village we don't live in a village but yeah it's a town excuse me in, in the town uh, but more about that tomorrow today yeah we're just gonna like i said continue with our productive plans so see you tomorrow hello <laughs> it is wednesday it is first of may so it's a official day off and like i said yesterday in our city in uh, where we live they are putting up a my baum and now i have to ask a resident bavarian what does it mean where does the tradition come from give us a little history tour because i've never seen it in real life so i'm curious history i don't know yeah okay but why does it <laughs> exactly i don't know exactly well it's a long tradition to uh put down a tree and uh in the end of the year and then you dry it a little bit and then you paint it and uh, put some um, yeah wishes basically for the year and the summer like some um, holy figures to protect yeah you to over give, the to you. give good energy to the people yeah exactly and then you do a fest and it's uh, the first of may basically yeah and oh, we as can ask later some other people if what they think is the tradition behind it, and then we Google it. Okay, there are some people also that we know. And of course, as every tradition in Bavaria, it is accompanied by a lot of beer and uh, like kind of like an Oktoberfest vibes with benches, with food, uh, usually very meat heavy food. So I'm not sure how much there will be for me. Let's, Let's see, see if your friends are camera shy or not. Maybe we can ask them. What do they know about my baum? And we'll do a little interview if, if they're still in shape. If not, I will Google back home what it all means and I will let you know because clearly you don't know anything. Exactly. Let's go. Let's see. Alrighty, so I am back home and since no one knew what May uh, tree putting up is, my Baum aufstellen, uh, I thought I will Google it because how do all Bavarians are so proudly Bavarians and they, they don't then they don't even know what that is. By the way, this is now the finished chair. As you can see, there is the 
the wooden plank so there's more space and these chairs are very very comfortable but now let's see what it says so the Aufstellen or the placement is normally on the 1st of May. Some days, some places also do it the day before, so yesterday. And the tree usually stays there until the end of the month or all the way until autumn. And uh, there are some maypoles and these smaller trees are also set up by the unmarried men in front of the houses of unmarried women in town. And uh, some places this can also happen for a girlfriend. But the origin of this tradition is not exactly actually clear. It is a mixture of Germanic and Christian traditions. It is believed that the Germanic tribes would put uh, this tree up to honor their gods. Honestly, it's just seen as the start of the warmth time of the year. It's also celebrated um, in a lot of different places, so not only in Bavaria. According to the tradition, people from a neighboring town can also steal a Maibaum and they are allowed to keep it if they make it out of the town's border. Of course, because of this, uh, these trees are often watched over and there is never an opportunity to get past the guards. The teeth, if they are caught inside the town, they have to give it back. But if they make it out, the rightful owners may buy the Maibaum back. And often this payment is in the form of, of course, beer. And like I said earlier, I feel like every single German tradition or German or especially Bavarian like fest uh, is definitely swarmed with beer and food and uh, they love their small traditions and I think it's quite cute. Uh, so we were there just for a couple of hours. Um, I don't know if I could stay any longer. People actually stay there all day long. Um, it's not really my thing. Everyone goes in the traditional outfits. It's nice to talk with friends and things like that, but for me personally, it's a bit too crowd, a crowded, a bit too loud, a bit too hot, and uh, I don't drink beer and don't eat meat. But again, the tradition is tradition, and since you, we live in Bavaria, I think it is fun to visit and see once in a while. So of, hopefully you got a little bit of a vibe. Unfortunately, with the German laws, you can't really film that much uh, the people. But uh, yeah, it's a fun thing if you go there with a group and if you've never been, it's definitely a place to go. I can recommend. Hello, it is Thursday and it is actually already the night time. And today was just a regular day at work and actually it feels more like a Monday than a Thursday, at least for me. Literally when I woke up, I was like, oh, it's Monday. <laughs> but no, it's Thursday. That was a nice surprise. But uh, today, Xava, and actually yesterday, was a very good carpenter <laughs> and he finally built something for us in the kitchen something that has been missing for a long time and uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around give the microphone to him and he will give us a little showroom a little showcasing and a little explanation okay here you go hello so. it's me it's you. So, explain your beautiful work. <sighs> it's additional to the kitchen. And here you can see it already. Yes. Wait, it's, let me show uh, it. Well, it's not done yet. Done, done. It's done and enough. It's, it's a table. Let me take my phone away. It's a table and two sitting areas. Yes. Well, the pillows are still missing. And now we have here space for all the carton trash and stuff that is always in the kitchen and also like the panty if mm -hmm. you know what that is if you're a, from a country that has panty and here we have another huge space well for now that we just put random stuff in but actually we have to do a whole kitchen reorganization exactly that will happen in the next few days very beautiful and Can then it's done Hold the camera and I will demonstrate how to sit on there or how I would sit on here. So it is a little bit tight, but that's on purpose. We just wanted to maximize the space here. And now we can eat breakfast here. More importantly, I can watch how Xava cooks now while I sit here and I can be a company. I can also, you know, be comfortably here again the pillow is missing but I think it will be very comfy and I can even chill out in this corner like this and in the summer we have here actually the morning sun so it will be really nice to enjoy breakfast with some 
sunlight if it's warm we can open the window totally and actually even four people can sit in here so that's gonna be really really nice and uh, yeah i'm really happy thank you so much for doing this i waited for it over a year but the wait is always worth it and uh, yeah now we just have to like i said reorganize the kitchen make it a bit cuter um, but that was my update for today. <laughs> Nothing else happened, but uh, this is a huge update. And as you can see, we are doing more and more home improvements because we really want to get our apartment done. Um, and yeah, that's it. We're gonna have a little bit of a quiet time and uh, go to bed. So see you tomorrow. Hello, it is Friday afternoon. Come on, no one can see you. You have to. And uh, we. I'm trying to, to be so that both of us are in the angle. And we decided very, very spontaneously to come to Ikea. And it's surprisingly full for a Friday night. Don't people have anything better to do? Aren't there parties to go to? <laughs> we are the ones that want to make our house nice. Yeah, well, we're <laughs> probably not the only ones. <laughs> Clearly not, but today is also... It's only 5.30. Today is also really, really shitty weather. Exactly. It's raining. It's nice. So, uh, yeah, IKEA is quite full, but I found a little remote couch corner here to do this intro. So, yeah, we are in IKEA and we have a short list that we need to buy, mostly for the kitchen, because we want to improve it and make it ready as soon as possible. We need a few, what are those called? Hanging bars, bars some hooks, maybe pillows. Not sure if they have pillows for our ah, sizing. Oh, for outside. Also pillows for the balcony we're gonna check. So there's a few things that we're gonna check out. So let's go. As you all know by now, I love Ikea. It's the highlight of my <laughs> life. And <laughs> yeah, Xava is somehow unmotivated today. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Turn around. Yeah, but don't just show the floor. I'm not showing the floor. Clearly, Xava is really into the camera because he's playing with it more than I do. Uh, I don't so mind, I need a cameraman. This one. This one? That one's ugly. For the outside, for the balcony. Oh, it's not 10 years, 15 years. Yeah, excuse me, but this is perfect for us to put like next to our hanging chairs and then we just have them here. Yeah, that you can fix. No? <laughs> Why not? And there was another one. There was this green one that I saw is also not also so expensive. Metal. Yeah. This one's nice it's also for the balcony. Around. This one is... No, it was not this one that I saw. Well, it's also a possibility, it's but it's not so cheap. It's wooden. I'm sure I have it in the IKEA app, the one that I wanted to have. Let me check. So then the next thing that I said we need are these uh, metallic bars. Uh, we have two at home and right now we only have like small utensils on there, but we want to also hang oh, actually... We can also hang like cups there. It well, would be actually nice because in the storage upstairs is uh, free. Yeah, but I was thinking more for pots and pans because that takes a lot of more space than yes, our well, cups. Well, I mean cups and then pots and pans also. But we'll, we but won't have so deep. much wall I don't, space. I don't want to put the deep... No, no, not the pots, pot, but the pans that yeah, are pans, big. Yeah, Those yeah. we can hang on this yeah, one yeah, yeah. near the freezer. Mm -hmm. And uh, then our kitchen also doesn't look so white, white all the time because right now it's missing a little bit of color. Where can we get these? Uh, $3.99.45. Oh, that's, the, that's the hooks. That's the hooks. Okay. Well, and the, here is the... $5.99. Here is the thing. So, huh? this is definitely a must. Xava already is finding other kitchen stuff that we need. We're in the process of decluttering, not buying more stuff, okay? <laughs> and yeah, we are big fans of IKEA kitchens, or IKEA in general. Well, not kitchens, but like all the small knickknacks. So, yeah. This is the item number two. Let's check out something else. Are you filming? No, I'm filming. <laughs> I have to say everything the second yeah. time. And I did it in front of people before and they looked at me so weirdly. 
Okay, here's the corner that we found for our kitchen that we think fits perfectly and is like actually our inspiration. So I think we will get two of these like fake vegan sheep throw on thingies. Uh, because our kitchen right now is a little bit too white and sterile and then we found this really cute also for the pictures and uh, I think we could put it on the wall add some pictures not black and white I think we like a bit more a colorful one we can take the Munich one it's quite cute and we even have this plant actually identical plant in the bathroom and it's kind of in the way so now we're going to add it into the kitchen and try to recreate more or less this corner in our kitchen to make it a little bit more cozy because we don't like this uh, super sterile, super, super white uh, design. It's nice for a base, but we always want a bit more. So this was perfect corner to find for inspiration. Where do we get now the Munich picture? Or does it say? There's this picture oh, department. Really? I'm sure they have it. And this one is very cute. It represents where we live. And uh, yeah, we'll have to see what other frames we want to get. So let's go. I can never go to Ikea without buying this children's pasta actually but I find the shape just makes the pasta taste 10 times better so I absolutely love it and now we're also looking at these uh, boxes for our storage for pasta but also for rice and every other like thing that you store at and we're contemplating if we really need it because we technically want to be more organized and it would be quite a nice solution but the question is if we really gonna use it or is it just no we use it for spaghetti our spaghetti always lays like in the pantry and then it takes space and here this is exactly the perfect for our small shelves there and then we put 10 things so you can see what's in there that's actually true we have good shelves how much are they deep 200 no how much was is der Preis? Let's the price. Let's the price. Let's the price. We have our shelves have 150, I think. Fast exact. Perfect. Then we take a few of those as well. 20 stück. Yeah, 20. And they're five years. They're actually quite expensive. Wow. Well, we expensive. don't need that many. Four or five. We are in the car, and this IKEA trip was somehow. 10 times more stressful than usual, way too many people, our app didn't work, it was a bit weird, but we are out now and we have the best part, which are the hot dogs. Oh. Yeah, we were not hungry enough to eat the normal like Chetbula. Chetbula or any other like restaurant food, so we waited until the end and now we have the hot dogs. I have the veggie ones and you have one meat and one plant-based one. Mm -hmm. Which one are you eating now? The vegan. Ah? Well, it's okay. Mm. Yeah, we are gonna go home, try to rush a little bit to still be able to make noise until 8 p.m. and uh, make our kitchen organized, but I will show you that um, I think tomorrow. Or, or maybe even Sunday. Um, yeah, I will show you the end result. You don't need to see the whole process. It will take us for sure a while. People are interested in the process. I don't know if they are. Mm. Mm. But yeah, this was it. Friday night, very exciting. And uh, tomorrow I have actually uh, our digital creators meet up in the morning. And um, I will take you with me. We are doing it in the same place, same time. So I'll see you then. Hello, it is Saturday morning and I just parked in the city because like I mentioned yesterday, we have our um, digital creators meetup uh, in the city center in our usual location. If you've watched my previous vlogs, you've seen the beautiful space that we do this at. And I have to say, I've been very lucky with parking always because, yeah, another, you know, gorgeous uh, day. And since we're doing it in the morning, I actually find parking very easily. So I'm always happy about that. And I'm also a bit early and uh, I love this area of the city during this time. It is calm, it is peaceful, it is beautiful. Most people start to arrive a little bit later around like 
11, 30, 12. And at that time, then it's a bit too annoying for me. And then <laughs> I don't like to be here anymore. But around 9, 30, 10, you know, the city is still pretty much asleep and it is gorgeous. I don't know if you can hear, but there's lots of construction going on everywhere around Munich city. Munich is being redone. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited about today's meetup. I think it's going to be very interesting, very successful. Today's topic is actually creating content for each other, not creating, but like giving ideas of content to each other. And I think it's a great uh, thing because often, you know, we might hear a different kind of perspective that we didn't think about or yeah, it's just interesting to see what maybe other people would want to hear from you or to see from you. And uh, there will be a mix of new and known people. So I'm very, very excited. Um, let me show you maybe a little bit around this area. It is absolutely gorgeous. The shops are still closed, so I think that's why there's not so much movement or anything happening. Um, but yeah, let me show you because I think this is one of my favorite areas in Munich. So on this side of the street, there is a lot of like fancier shops that honestly I never go into. There is a beautiful palace. I love this architecture. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And there's also some hidden alleyways and in general, like yeah, very, very nice area. It's also one of the most expensive areas. And uh, there's also a lot of nice cars driving around. So here we have a Cupra showroom, uh, the U-Bahn station, this uh, Tambosi right across the city over here, uh, right across the street. Over here is actually a really fancy uh, restaurant where people really enjoy the sunny time. There's a Starbucks that is also rather fancy. And here is Odeonsplatz. Like I said, it's a gorgeous part of the city and behind there is a beautiful park and if you go all the way you can also go to English Garden. So yeah, it is definitely gorgeous. And now I see my people already waiting there. So let me go and meet them. So I am actually back home and our event, our event was very, really nice. And uh, again, a lot of interesting people and the new people were very cool as well. And uh, every time I do one of these events, I'm, you know, always happy to have them. But as an introvert, meeting people and talking a lot and being in this environment is sometimes also a little bit exhausting. So to be honest, when I came home, I just needed to like decompress and I needed to be by myself and I just stayed like two hours in bed uh, almost sleeping and I actually edited this vlog. Uh, but I have to actually be a little bit productive because Xava's grandma is coming to our place later on and I wanna or I have to or I want to clean up a little bit the space. But I thought since I promised you yesterday I might show you this corner since we did get um, you know a few additions from IKEA and it is definitely way cozier so I thought let me show you around uh, let me show you what we bought and uh, yeah I'm really happy how with everything how it is turning out as you can see there's this picture frame that still has to be hung up we also don't have any pictures to put in here we're actually thinking of putting our uh, favorite music bands because both of us love um, music very much. We love going on different concerts. One of the bands will for sure be Red Hot Chili Peppers. And uh, yeah, maybe that's what we're gonna add here, but it's not 
quite yet final. So let me try to turn the camera around and show you uh, the corner because like I said, I'm very, very happy with it. It looks cute and uh, it was also quite low, low budget. We bought most of the things uh, quite cheaply, which I'm of course happy about. So let me show you. So here it's how it looks like on the outside. So definitely a bit more colorful. I also opened the window and you can see from the outside we have a beautiful tree right in front of us. It's very green and we love using green in our interior design as well. So that definitely adds to everything. So first we bought this fake sheep or whatever it is, vegan. Um, throw on and it actually feels like touching a dog so <laughs> I don't know <laughs> quite cute but also a bit random and we bought these two pillow and the pillow cases we liked this flowery one and like I said green it's uh, an element that is constant in a lot of our design and in a lot of our rooms and we have the same pillows and the same thing on both sides and now it is way more comfortable to sit on it and it's very cozy this picture frame is going to go up here and here I added some, um, what is this actually? I think this is mint, right? So here is a mint, here is basilic and here is a fake plant and some candles. And like I said, it kind of ties it all together. And now I am absolutely in love with our cute little corner. I have to put away these random stuff over here back into the countertops. And uh, I can definitely imagine myself having a lot of breakfast here, editing, uh, yeah, reading even. It's a very, very comfy nook. And yeah, now, like I said, I don't have that much time. Krava's grandma should be coming home or should be coming to our place in around an hour or so. So I have to do an express cleaning. Sanwa is coming in a bit as well to help me out. And uh, then we are probably gonna go out for dinner with her and just uh, yeah, enjoy a little bit of family time and uh, I'm not gonna film anything anymore because I do like to be present and in the moment for those things so let me know what do you think of our little kitchen corner I personally think it is very cozy and uh, otherwise see you tomorrow hello it is Sunday morning and we are actually in a little bit of a rush because we are going to a family event and since it's a little bit of a nicer event we dressed up and that doesn't happen so often so I thought I will show you a little bit of my outfit I love this dress I got it um, I think a year ago now more or less exactly a year ago from Estonia it's actually from a local Estonian designer but I find like this color is so beautiful and bright and I love wrap dresses they are so easy to wear they are so comfortable you can adjust it and I'm just wearing flats because this is already fancy enough I have my golden jewelry and my hair is yeah not overly done up but I find that it looks very very cute I feel very nice and I'm just gonna take my small bag with me Sawa can you come show your outfit I haven't seen him so dressed up since forever. Looks very nice. Cat roller. Always necessary with these fuckers. That is true. So you have a linen suit from um, United sweet. Colors of Benetton. Yes. And a nice white button down and some pants. And oh, and the shoes are nice as well. And yeah, I think let's come up. Put your roll away for the walk. This looks good, Super. no? I ah, haven't, haven't dressed up this nicely in forever. And uh, yeah, like I said, we are actually a little bit in a rush now. And since it is a family event, I'm definitely not going to be filming anything. And uh, this is going to be lasting all day long. So yeah, you got the little sneak peek of it. But I think the vlog is long enough. Let me know what do you think about this week? Uh, how do you like my new camera? Did it make any difference for you for the viewing experience? And thank you so, so much for watching until the end. It means a lot to me. And uh, as always, I will see you next week. Have a good, have a good one.